Hey guys, it's Jamie. So you might think you know everything there is to know about flat ironing your hair, but today we're gonna talk about some tips on how to flat iron fine hair like mine. So if you have fine hair, thin hair, thinning hair, this is how you can flat iron your hair without causing damage, or at least the minimal amount of damage. So the first thing you always wanna do is protect your hair. I've been using this HSI Professional Argan Oil. It's a thermal protector. And what caught my attention about this specifically is that it's for your own hair and it's also for hair extensions. I used to have hair extensions in my hair for many, many years. You have to still be careful because you don't want it to not blend into your own hair. And I just really like the fact that this is for both. Do a light spritz kind of all over your head. You don't wanna get it too wet, just a light spritz which will protect it. After you let that sit in for a few seconds, you take your iron. So I've been using the HSI Professional Flat Iron, and what I love about this specifically, it's great for all hair types, but really for fine hair, it's really appealing to me because it's got heat technology that actually evenly distributes the heat amongst the plate, which means essentially you're not, if you put your hair in like this, you're not burning one section as opposed to the other section. It also has four heat settings. I am leaving mine right now on 400 degrees, which for fine hair usually is a little bit high, but like I said, I do have sort of like a coarse kind of texture to my hair, and I found that when I use the lower settings, it doesn't really do much. The plates are also ionic technology, which helps eliminate frizz. As you can see in my hair right now, this is just me. I blow dried it out of the shower quickly. You know, my hair dries in maybe five minutes because it's so fine, but it is really frizzy, and this is why I do have to use a flat iron all the time because the blow dry is just never enough to get it silky smooth. The first thing I like to do is I like to start with my bangs. They're the bane of my existence. I have a cow look right here that always seems to stick up. So you wanna take your hair like this, and then I pull it forward, and then you go down like this. And because my cow look is over on this side, I do a couple extra strokes there. And then, you know, you wanna kinda of play with it so that you can figure out where your best part is. But you can see this is already looking a lot smoother just for the bangs. Now, a lot of people will tell you to clip your hair, but I always find that if you have fine hair, you don't really need to because you don't even have that much hair to clip. Um, and I think you also kind of save a lot of your volume if you don't clip your hair because you're not getting into every little nook and cranny back there. After I do my bangs, I then kind of push them out of the way like this and I do the front pieces, kind of gliding down like that and like that. And then you really only want to do it on the parts that are kind of frizzy because again, you wanna retain as much volume as possible. You don't wanna make your hair pin, pin, pin straight or you'll look like you have no hair. I do go to the ends of my hair, but I don't do more than one or two strokes because this tends to get very, very choppy and you will get split ends if you do it too many times. Any hairstylist will tell you that I get yelled at all the time, even though I am careful, but just try to be aware of not doing it too many times on your ends. You know, and I think what's also really great about this iron specifically is that I recently traveled to Australia in March and I had an older iron. The minute I plugged it into the wall, the thing blew. I love this one because it's dual voltage. A lot of different countries have different voltages that you need to use, so this is good in many, many different countries. Then I do the back just a little bit. And then one thing that I've noticed that people with fine hair always tend to miss, including myself, is this back piece right here but you wanna be careful with it because you don't wanna do it too much so that your hair goes flat, but you also wanna get all the frizz out and all the kinks. So I take this piece and I just do it one time, just like that. And then I push it back like this and that's pretty much that. What I love about this is that there's actually a sleep timer. So after 10 minutes, if you're not using this, it shuts itself off. So I don't have to worry anymore about burning my house down. Another cool thing you can do with this flat iron that I like is because it has rounded edges, you can kind of create a little bit of a wave or a curl. You know, right now my hair is pretty straight, but still retain the volume. Sometimes I like to do a little bit more of like a loose California wave thing. So in that case, I would just do this and kind of turn it in like that. And it looks a little crimped right now, but after it kind of settles, it's really smooth. And then you get this sort of like nice, like rounded edge. And so those are my best tips for flat ironing fine, thin hair. Thank you so much to HSI Professional for sponsoring this video. Your products are amazing. And if you guys want to know more about their products, I will link to everything in the description below. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. I'm gonna start with the Yes2 line, and this is their brand new Primrose Oil 2-in-1 Cleansing Moisturizing Facial Towelette. 